Greetings everyone, Glenn Kellaway coming to you from the basement. It's Thursday. Um, I have had uh, the luck and good fortune of receiving the new Bob Dylan album, Shadow Kingdom, a day early. Release date is actually Friday, tomorrow, June 2nd. And um, I've had a chance to listen through once. And I want to give you my first impressions and show you uh, the product. So I bought it on CD and on vinyl. So uh, I think everybody's probably more interested in the vinyl first. I love the cover, first of all. Very cool. Bob playing a harmonica in front of a microphone. Just love the black and white. It's great. Shadow Kingdom, Bob Dylan. Very sparse. There's absolutely no mention credits of who played with Bob on this album, but I'm assuming it was his regular band of musicians. It came in these sleeves here. I transported it over to uh, MoFi Polylined. There is the uh, inside cover. Now, for those of you who don't know the history of this album, this is uh, live uh, performances of songs. Uh, and it's pretty much his classic uh, period in the 60s, some early 70s stuff. Um, it was a performance that was streamed. You paid $25 to watch this originally uh, around Bob's 80th birthday a couple of years ago. Um, I didn't pay for it, <laughs> so I, haven't, I hadn't seen it. So this is brand new to me. For those of you who have seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about, I guess. Anyway, um, a very sparse instrumentation, guitar, drums, bass, and a bit of harmonica, accordion, I don't believe there's any keyboards in it at all. And um, the songs have somewhat different arrangements, but really good arrangements. Bob's vocals are fantastic. They sound amazing. I am absolutely, my first impression is this is a home run. If you're a Bob Dylan fan, run to buy this. It's fantastic. If you haven't heard it, it will blow you away. The uh, album is three-sided, so one of the sides is etched. I'll show you that in a second. But let's just talk about the set list here. It starts off with When I Paint My Masterpiece, which is one of my favorite Dylan songs, and it's just incredibly well done. Bit of a different arrangement. Again, all these songs have a bit of a different arrangement. Uh, next is Most Likely You Go Your Way and I'll Go Mine off of Blonde on Blonde. Queen Jane Approximately, and I'll Be Your Baby Tonight. That's side one. Side two, Just Like Tom Thumbs Blues, Tombstone Blues, To Be Alone With You, and What Was It You Wanted, which is a bit of a more current song, I guess. Um, side three, Forever Young, Pledging My Time, The Wicked Messenger, Watching the River Flow, It's All Over Now, Baby Blue, and a... Uh, instrumental that I'm not sure where it's from if someone knows the history of this Sierra's theme um, it's like I said it, it sounds great I love it I, I, I'm dying to hear it for a second time but I haven't had chance um, there's the label on the sides with music here is the etched vinyl. Again, just one side. Looks very cool. It's a wonderful recording. <laughs> it really is. Here's the CD. Again, very basic, bare bones. Not much reading material here. It says, Studio, uh, 
stereo recording. That's the, that's what you get. And again, the songs, uh, all songs written by Bob Dylan. And uh, there's the CD, uh, which looks a lot like the cover on the album uh, label. Um, there's the uh, little blurby thing that was attached to the CD. And uh, that's it. That's all I got. Now, let's not just stop at Bob Dylan here. Um, if you're following my channel, you know my latest obsession is The Clash. I had an opportunity yesterday to pick up a Joe Strummer box set, Joe Strummer 001, it's called. There we go. Joe Strummer 001. Beautiful box set. I couldn't believe when I saw this, it was uh, turned in by somebody at a record store and uh, I had traded a couple things in so I didn't have to put too much cash to get this. I'm going to show it to you so when you open it up. Now I believe this came out around 2018. If I am thought I read that so if I'm wrong, you guys please correct me. Uh, 2000, nope, 2018. Okay, so this first thing you see when you open the box, it's vinyl. Okay, that's just the slip cover. Now, first we get a 45. It's a 12 inch 45 of a song called US North 1032, written by Mick Jones and Joe Strummer. We have lyrics and uh, there is the thing pretty nothing nothing on that side there we go and um, there we go there so that's the 45 then we get three albums uh, there is the the back Again, this is a slip cover. Uh, Joe Strummer, side one. So this is a lot of stuff with the 101ers, uh, some stuff with the Mescaleros, some stuff with the Latino Rockabilly War, uh, some stuff with Astrophysicians, Radar, Electric Doghouse. Um, I'm not as familiar with this stuff as you are, this history, because I'm pretty new to this. But that's what the album covers look like. Um, there's the label there and there. So there's three albums. They all basically look very similar. And uh, I love that cover. I think it's very cool. Okay. Then we're left with this. So there's an envelope here. Heavy cardboard envelope, some goodies in it. You get Joe Strummer's driver's license. If I ever go to California, you think I can pass this off? Pretty cool. You get a copy of Joe Strummer's driver's license. That's one thing. Lost my headphone. Um, a 45. Of before we go forward, and this is England. We get a couple of drawings from Mr. Strummer. There's one. I guess we just get one drawing. Then we get uh, some lyrics. To uh, oh for the for the to match the forty five the two songs and then the uh, picture of Joe and some stickers which are kind of cool I think uh, 
Oh Lord. I'll put this stuff away later. Uh, bunch of stickers. Very cool. Eight. Left with this now. So we get a... Oh my God. There we go. It's pin. I kind of like this pin that came with it. It's like a hat pin or something. I might just put it on my hat there. Kind of cool. And uh, a cassette. Which has been unopened. And last but not least... You get this, another cover, and inside a book, Summer Notebook, volume number one, or zero, zero, one. CD one and two are tucked in behind here, and the rest is all pictures. And what have you. Now there's also a uh, volume 002, which is the Mescalero years. Now this has a couple of tracks from the Mescalero years. I'd say about half a dozen. But I, I've i asked my uh, family to get me the, uh, the 002 box for my birthday in June. So I'm hoping I'm going to receive that. So, wow. A good day. I can't recommend the Dylan strongly enough. If you guys are Dylan fans, check it out and uh, we shall be back. Take care.